So I came across this game because I noticed Oxenfree 2 is coming out sometime this year. There's no official release date just yet, but from what I've seen from the trailer, it looked really cool. So while I'm waiting, I wanted to try the first one. And from what I've read, it it's a supernatural mystery horror adventure game where you play Alex and she goes on what is supposed to be like a weekend trip to a local island with her friends but some really weird stuff happens to them and the trailer looked really good but I'm going in really blind with this I didn't see any playthroughs or anything so I just wanted to check it out I'm just gonna put subtitles to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey. Still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control uh, to Alex. Yeah, my mind? yeah, my my mind drifted for a second. Oh, so that's you all so pretty. In? Um, not not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> what happened? Okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she'd work there and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out, so... Shit. What? Does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling <laughs> up. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Give enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> and today, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Oh. So you don't have to say anything. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This would be like the before show. Let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, do you need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance? There, great. I'll manage to erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What, what radio? radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? 
There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got model from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune in to 88.3. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh! Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll, You'll see. see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll, it'll be, be fun. fun. I, I won't undercook it. it. You'll, You'll see. see. It looks so good. Aww. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This needs city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, yeah. I mean, I don't need to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, we can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's, it's like, like a buddy system. No, it's, it's flying, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, what might do? Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Come on. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Who's Mike? Oh, that's harsh. I heard your mom's dead. I heard you I were heard, in jail? Um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't, don't believe, believe everything you hear. We can... Catch back up with Ren. I didn't mean to take so long. Oh, that's so cute. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. <laughs> kitschy like a quiche. Uh, I think they block us off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every 
three parking lot. submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. But maybe I heard wrong. Ah, you know... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year yeah, under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Black. Kind of Black. creepy in a way, right? On October yeah. 20, 1940, I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those season movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flying will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duties are the worst possible war assignment. There's no way to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. Such a cool little feature. Oh. Parkson Silly's office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> He likes tall girls. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. No, the other guys and girls must be further off, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal house. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you should get over there, but I'm blanking out. So the music stops when you open the map. Oh wow, it's big! Is the music too loud? I don't think I can change it. Photos? Huh. What it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Uh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because we go to... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices. Or just sounds, and they're impossible to get. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Oh, that's Adler? creepy. Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey, Monkey butters, butters, lobster, lobster wives. wives. It's, it's the dream. dream. Oh, oh yeah, what was, was I thinking? Lobster wives. <laughs> it's the dream. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons, even though it was only over the pan stuff? 
Uh, <laughs> just because Mark sends a study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look for our submissions. Look, Alex. Mm -hmm. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, uh, don't normally pick her so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. Hmm. Is he on edge? I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... Much. Well, let's try. Over the fence? It's so pretty. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her. And I want her to be into me, so just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. Be okay. cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, What's up there? I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's Alex new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you want a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, uh, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but she's... are you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family in law and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona <laughs> invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Rhett into, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend. Who didn't think we could make it? Who lost my invitation? Who had to go on after? We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Come on. Fire! 
Man's great equalizer. So what's the um what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three oh, days that's ago. So cute. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as... No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. <laughs> we can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. Fair. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... start. Brett. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, oh man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough oh. to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, no, no they... I mean, I, 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 I like, like her as a friend, friend right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And Jonas uh, is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that, that means, means you killed kill me? <laughs> Out of everyone here, your best friend, and I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Um, no, not. <laughs> yes. All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and so, easy. Does Clarissa ever do anything that just, like, really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I... What, that's it? Come on, didn't she get to, like, second base with your cousin or something? Hey, he kissed me <laughs> on the cheek when he was six on the swings. That counts. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh. Uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Me. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? <laughs> I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... I don't really need... Okay, just... Get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, mm. I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just no that boy. Alice's mom is happy now. But how can we be this sure? This isn't fair. Like, at all. Of course it's fair. Why'd your parents get divorced? I know you know why. I mean... I quit, okay? 
I'm not if her brother it. died, I don't care I might about not want to this is what this is. talk Wait, about let's, this. Let's not stop like this. We should. Like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could and get. That's exactly what no one is gonna do to you. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No one want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Jonas, Jonas, you're a strapping young, young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you, you like, like bars, bars on the windows. So you can go with them or stay there? Alex, huh. you want to check out the caves, or...? Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever, Whenever you're ready. Oh, oh what, their day? So, the cave. What's, What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird is it going to be? It's run, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but... He has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry, Sorry about that. Eh, <sighs> it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during, during the, uh, the game. game. I didn't think you would, but... You know, you could've, and you didn't, so, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What, what do, do I do? do? Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Huh? Those look like brownies. Brownie town. No, never mind. That's Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Is so cool. Weird. I know. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Ah. Uh, she dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever. She never liked me. 
Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to see her. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. That makes sense. Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over... Weird. So, yeah, it sounds... Uh... It sounds... Like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous what last is... words. Famous last... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like... A giant rabies filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs, or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange dark wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Oof. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I mean. Yeah, you do that. Do what? Ah. Oof. That sounds like a bad idea. Like, the best way to get lost. Jonas! Jonas! I would never climb in the dark, in a cave. No. How is he so far? the other way or no what's there see a man about a dog 
Sure, we'll do. What is he doing? Are you okay? Ah! Jesus, you scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't, isn't this place, place incredible? incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It, it sounds, sounds like, like a, a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no. Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Can we just go, please? I really don't like it here. Yeah, okay, we can go. Lead the way. <sighs> Thank you. Is he coming? I feel like he's gonna fall or something. Like something's gonna happen. Right? This uh, th this can't be the way we came in, right? Yeah. We must have doubled back the wrong way somehow, or. Oh my God, this is the way we came in. Alex, come on, that's not possible. It's just wall. Uh, where's the crack we crawled through? There's no other. This is it, Jonas. This is the way. If it's not here, then where? We didn't miss it. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Let's just go back the other way. We got in. There has to be a way out. Sure. We did come from there. It's just blocked for some reason. Let's just ignore it. I really, truly hate this. I know. What are we supposed to do? This is where we came from. Maybe I can hear something on the radio, but... Nope. 
this doesn't really make any sense. Everywhere. There's no other exit. I know, I know. What's up there? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows no <laughs> it doesn't really look like a trick of light jonas it looks like someone's science fair project just floating there i think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the um what am i trying to say I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow i think it's all the same thing really you think definitely try your radio maybe that's like a frequency or something like if it don't have an effect There's a trying. Oh my god. Is this. Are you. Is this. You? Are you doing this? Should. Should I stop? No! This is awesome! Ooh, what is that? I can't even. Like. What is. What? Is it. In what? What happened? Did I die or something or? Alex, Alex. Alex, <sighs> are you okay? You all right? <sighs> That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, 
But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call some- Ah, uh, don't touch that, please. I really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. This all seems a little mush, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower and not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... Don't touch. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... All right, I guess. Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. And it's a bit elaborate <sighs> okay. for a well, prank. I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower is a working walkie talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio. I guess opened something, and that mm -hmm. something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. Transmogrified? It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. Can you lock pick? See? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Hmm? How does this thing... It might work if... Fence should be off now. Great, but, but um, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. Yeah. <sighs> hey, we need help. We're stuck on Edwards Island in the communications tower. It's, um, dead. Mm-hmm. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Oh, Alex? Ben. Jesus, how to Christ, thank Vishnu. I mean, you, you guys, guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have, have no idea what happened. happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes, minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Man, just... It's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's, it's 
It's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fusion level terrible ever since he went into the cave. Like, worse than Kendall's basement horrible. And... Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like... Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. Oh, boy. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. So they were can all split up? over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just No, want... just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I guess we lost the connection somehow? Yeah, that or the triangle beings we let in from space are eating her soul right now. Please don't talk like that while I still have a lingering shred of composure. Alright. So, wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't, I don't know. know. Look, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna leave, leave it up, up to you. you. We, we can, can swing through the forest in Abrin, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. I mean, I don't know if it Ren changes anything. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. So if the, if the comms tower. No, if Fort Milner. Okay, Fort Milner is there. We have to choose. I mean, we can start with Ren. But at the same time, it'd be smarter to check on Clarissa because she. We could call for help. I don't think I can choose anymore, though. Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Act as if. It's so weird that they would get split up and they lost track of time for the last hour. It's so weird. I mean, Clarissa can ask for help if she's right there. Or try to call someone. So I think it's okay. crazy you know so just making sure your shoes are still on your feet they huh. are okay they are how are you uh could be better but we'll get through this and on to 
bigger and better? Good talk. Yeah, let's save Ren. We'll probably get lost in the woods, but I'm thinking Clarissa can call someone. Can call for help. I um didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. Yeah, it's like what, twenty square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. This is like only the front door. Just wait. But I just wanna make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do not uh not exactly, no. Not nope. exactly. Well, not at all. Mm. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like, half the letters had fallen off, so it's spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now but you know yeah we once had a mall santa who was kidnapping kids i think what? that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened well I mean, to be fair that does sound pretty scary This thing is so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And the next on the tour of Edwards Island, and an old bush. <laughs> yeah, I know you're right. Who cares? The cricket tree. History, am I right? I'm not making fun. Aww. It's just, it's a tree. What is that? That's a random- oh! I don't know if it's the right station. There was plenty of time for thinking. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, ah. Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he encountered on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. Huh. When he was stationed at Fort Milner... Wait. Isn't Ren in these woods? 
Relay Point Edwards. Okay, no, so we have a... We have some way to go. I mean, is Ren even gonna stay there? Where um, are we supposed why to go? Is there a cable car here? Couldn't they just made like, just like a normal bridge with wood and slats? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. I don't know if I can say it's neat. It looks less than welcoming, or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been running here since the invention of ovens. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was She knows everything. I'm kind of relieved since I went depressing enough. So... These rock formations, should I...? Tune in. Whenever I see those. Creepy. Oh. Who was never found? Oh, great. Okay. So, what is in there? Power transfer station 167. It's locked. Okay, that's oh. a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody, somebody should have locked, locked it, it right? Uh, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal? Or something? Alright. I'll go with that, just cause... What else am I gonna do? Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you That's can it. catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like, like the, the first, first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt to restart without supervision. Um... So, I don't know. Jonas, the bridge started looks pretty well and dead, so... I don't know how we do this without power. Hmm. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. I'm sure you'll be fine. I hope he doesn't, All right. but... Um, well... What's happening? Why'd the lights go out? Which flip did you hit? The only one. There's only one switch, and it's the one that says power or whatever. I don't know why it didn't do what it should have. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise, too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Mm hmm. 
Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. Okay, so we killed it. Great. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay, we'll just... There's gotta be a way to turn the power on still. I mean, I can't interact with anything. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. It's like they're in the same hallucination or something. It's weird. I'm wondering if that created another time gap. And also, uh, what's up there? Was that there before? Uh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so. But it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. Huh. So, what's up there? Because on the left is definitely the bridge. But... Oh, wait. Missile strike or airborne invasion was identified. A call would be sent from this station, and if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non personnel. The Catbird Station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. It says it's a, I don't know, Catbird station? And then the call sign is weird. 60.8? Dial doesn't go that far. Huh.
don't know if Clarissa said Nana was with her. Can't remember. What a night, huh? What a night. Um, what does that mean? You said it first. I'm just saying mm. this. This isn't anybody's, anybody's fault, you know. It I'm not saying it is. Happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll the right. stuff that's happening is like really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. <laughs> Says you, you ma'am. Praise oh. the Lord. Oh. They're bold. What an interesting game so far. It almost feels like they're in the same dream or they're hallucinating together. And why the time gap? Why are they losing time? Like, it's definitely less scary than I thought, but I love how mysterious it is. I love it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!